30 days. Let's go. Two men. We can do it. 25,000 bottles. We're doing our best to clean up the environment. Off the Yucatan Peninsula, Richard Sova and his son hope to spark an eco-revolution by building a self-sustaining island out of discarded plastic bottles. This is the beginning of a living, breathing island that can last thousands of years like that. They have a plan. This is going to be good, man. The passion. <laughs> and a lot of problems. This revolutionary island will harness the power of the sun. I've been thinking this out, this particular shape. I love it. The water. I'm off the grid. And the wind. Making a green future for everybody. Life's a beach when you're building off the grid. Welcome to Bottle Island. It's, it's unfortunate that in 2019, that in the, the most advanced society in the history of the world, we're talking about child abuse. That still today, in this country, five children die from the effects of child abuse every day. Child help has improved the lives of more than 10 and a half million children over the last 60 years. Its dedication to survivors of child abuse and neglect, as well as caring for at-risk kids, has made Child Help one of the world's most respected nonprofits. Since 1982, the Child Help National Abuse Hotline has received more than two million calls from those in distress. The hotline is about, you know, reaching out and saving lives. Every time the phone rings, you have an opportunity to help somebody. Child Help Crisis Counselor, how can I help you? You're trying to not just give a phone number as a resource, you're trying to give hope. This generation of children really has grown up with technology. We're meeting them where they're at, and they can now text in to reach our trained counselors. Research is showing that they're more comfortable reaching out for help um, on text or chat. In the last two years, Child Help connected over 200,000 of those calls to additional services in each state, like the Child Help Alice C. Tyler Village in Virginia. The Alice C. Tyler Village of Child Help is a psychiatric residential treatment facility, but don't picture an institution. We are a 270-acre horse farm. These children have experienced what we'd call nightmares, that their, their reality has been nightmarish. One of the first children that came in I asked him what his name was, and he said, Mistake. And I said, no, honey, what is your name? He said, Mistake. And I said, that's not your name. You're not a mistake. He said, my mom and dad call me Mistake. And then he proceeded to tell me, and I'm very bad. I live in a closet most of the time. When we heard that, of course, we just melted. <sighs> it still touches your heart. We realized how much it was needed. When a child admits to the village, we want them to feel that they're gonna be provided for. All who enter here will find love. All who enter will find love, and that, that's expressed in many ways. One of them is the very first moment they're here, we're gonna give them a teddy bear. Also on that very first day, we're gonna give a child a bicycle. We want children to feel empowered and to feel a sense of independence. We have everything imaginable for that child. We have every array of therapy that you can imagine. Art therapy, we have equine therapy. All of those things are important to the children. All of these avenues of expression are an opportunity for a child to open up. The Village has an animal-assisted equine therapy program that is remarkably important to the healing of children here. The children have opportunity to care for and build trust. So they're gonna build trusting relationships and ultimately begin to relearn how to build trusting relationships with adults. The music therapy program in the village is a, is a very powerful expressive tool for children. We had a group of children working on Bob Marley's Three Little Birds and they said it again and again and again. And hopefully it echoes in their head like it's echoing in mine that Every little thing's gonna be all right.
we decided if we were going to do something for the abused child and develop it, that it would be something that Yvonne and I would want our own children to be there if they had to be in a circumstance like that. I know that over these 60 years, we've been blessed to help over 10 million, but we wish it was even 10 million more than that because there are so many children out there who do need help. Our heart's in it. Um, we're here to work with children. Uh, we're here to make the world a better place. What we do in changing the lives of these children is magnificent. And it's worth every effort that anyone puts forth. Take it outside with Great American Country. I'm glad that we're doing this. Bo and Caitlin love taking scenic trips to explore the great outdoors. We really like to take the opportunity to enjoy the process of traveling and going somewhere and a journey of it all. It really does force us to slow down and appreciate things. You drive a lot from East Tennessee to North Carolina, so you go through the mountains. I'm excited to kind of see where it takes us. We're always getting off the beaten path brings us back to that place where we can breathe easy. Look! When we are able to get outside, we can just disconnect from the world. Good to get away. Yeah. For us, when we are outside, we reset our minds, get some sunshine, get some vitamin D. It's the perfect temperature. Yeah. This has been great. Brought to you by Jeep. On behalf of the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, we are here today to crush colon cancer. Who's with us? We have a lot of work to do. Stop it out! So we also have free face painting free of charge for all participants in the kids' tent, right along with cornhole over there. We have our giant colon. Who hasn't seen it walk through the giant colon yet? You gotta check that out. So I know a lot of you have seen the great work that the Alliance has done bringing awareness to this terrible, terrible cancer with their Don't Assume campaign. To get that warm-up going, let's hear it for CrossFit DC! Introduce yourself to your neighbor, gonna walk you through a little bit of a warm-up. Raising over $16,000. Team Andrew! Yeah. We're gonna also acknowledge today our top overall male and female runners. It's another record-breaking crowd this year. Thank you so much for making it happen. <laughs>